Soccer 605 here with Coach Mike Grossman with uh, O'Gorman Knights. Uh, you know, you're kind of in between your weekend. You had a great night last night against uh, um, Sturgis, and now you got Spearfish. Yeah, uh, Spearfish is always tough. But uh, starting out with uh, a team that hasn't had as much success as the other teams is a good way, to, good way for us to start the year. Usually we start with Lincoln or... Um, or uh, Roosevelt and stuff, and you really got to change gears fast uh, for those guys and stuff. So, yeah, you know, record-wise, uh, Spearfish really shouldn't do too bad. I mean, they've got a lot of A schools on their uh, schedule, but that doesn't really help them much for power points. And uh, I think you guys have maybe an A school or two on your schedule too. Yeah, the uh, do we? Well, I don't know. I no. thought maybe you had no. T or something like no. that. Well, Harrisburg is Harrisburg. No, okay, no, we're all double A and stuff. But no, this game today against Spearfish will be big because uh, Washington tied Central and uh, Stevens tied Lincoln, and it's going to be one of those years where anybody can beat anybody on any any given day. So a game like this uh, for us, we hope to get the points, but but we're going to have to play a lot faster than we did uh, last night if we want to beat these guys. Well, and I, yeah, I think I think you're probably right in. But you know, you got a good start last night. Uh, you know, as the game progressed, you did get faster, and you and the team did get better during the game. Yeah, they're going to have to learn that you got to play harder. You know, you got to go to the ball harder. And and uh, we tried to do everything the right way, and I think we did to, to start with. We were moving the ball around and stuff, but it was kind of like possession without any purpose. And then after a while, we we figured out a way to score some goals. We had 32 shots on goal. I don't think any old Garmin teams ever had that, but that was against a younger, like I said, a younger Sturgis team. So. You know, I uh, was here for the first half and got that on video, and I uh, have a long list of moments, <laughs> moments in the, the match to carve out for highlights. And, you know, the, the goal you got while I was here was a pretty good goal. Yeah. I purposely didn't look up at you in the box because I knew <laughs> you'd give me one of those those looks. You know, I was getting pretty stressed out when you have that many shots and you don't store because memories of last year came back. And... Uh, I don't like I don't like the bad memories, like the the good memories and stuff. But we're a, a team that's mostly seniors, and we should hopefully get better uh, every game. And as long as we stay stay healthy and stuff, I mean, who knows what's going to happen today? But as long as we keep improving and can finish in that that final eight, we should we should uh, we should do okay. Well, you know, and I, I think uh, the, some of the personnel, you know, you lost a great keeper in Zach Peltier, but you got a great transfer in in uh, Christian, and uh, you got Alex Einzel came back home to play his senior year of soccer. So, I mean, those those two uh, positions right there make a big difference in the team. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, yeah, they're both like Christian is uh, really a, a good kid, a leader, uh, and he's only a sophomore. And he, and, he, and he plays like a, plays like a senior. Um, Alex, uh, we're planning on kind of using him the way you used your boy, what was that, 10 years ago or whatever. If you, if you see the right matchups, push the, he's 6'4", push the big guy forward, maybe uh, get a goal and then, and then pull him back. And we really weren't planning on doing that last night, but <laughs> he couldn't score. He did it on his own, which, you know, which was fine if he's in good enough shape to do that. So that's... That's kind of what the uh, the plan is, and that's what we're going to do a little bit of today. See how it goes. You know that, uh, and and you know you get these kids back from these academy programs. You know Alex has been at yeah. Shattuck St. Mary's, and they come and, and have a different level of awareness of the game. I mean, I saw Alex coming from uh, left back up to right forward a couple times last night, and you know it's hard to track a player when they're diagonal on the other side of the field and the other end too. Yeah, yeah. He uh, he started actually his freshman year here, and then he left for a couple years, and then came back. And what a well, he's grown up. What a leader, you know. It's all about uh, it's all about the team with him. And if he can get his ball, his head even close to the ball, uh, it, it's probably going to go in because he's he's uh, he he's really good with his with his headers and stuff. Our our team's big downfall, which is probably the most important thing, is we're not very fast. You know, we're we're okay, we're got okay team speed, but we don't have those guys that uh, can spread things out. So uh, I noticed in watching Spearfish and Roosevelt last night, boy, they're they're fast, fast on the wings, fast up top, fast in back, 
and we, we've got to hope that we can uh, take advantage of our field, which it's hard to play fast because you got to control the ball, and uh, uh, possess the ball more than them and, and score when we have uh, opportunities and stuff. So that's the plan. Well, I know, and you know, one other guy I want to mention who missed out quite a bit last year because of a knee injury, but having Colin Zimprick back in the middle of the park running the show for you guys in the middle has a huge impact. And, you know, I, I noticed uh, uh, his brother Preston, who got stuck in there last year in Colin's absence, was playing a lot more mature looking soccer last night, too. Yeah, yeah, they, uh, it's great to have those two guys because they cover a lot of space. Now, as the game wore on, they both kind of figured out from the middle, make that uh, wall that wall pass and then shoot through the the back line and and get some scoring opportunities and stuff but it was hard to do that against uh, Sturgis because they they packed it in and there wasn't a lot of space and stuff but that's what we're going to work on today is get that ball wide and then uh, try to make that uh, through you know that combination pass and stuff and get some score uh, space and uh, finish but yeah Colin is uh, He's a strong player, and we, we need those guys. And Preston, Preston is really quick, so I'm hoping the, the brothers can uh, make it happen. You know. Well, I think they will. I mean, every indication last night, you got uh, you know, so you got good team chemistry throughout. Everybody's connecting. Uh, you know, it looks pretty good to me. And uh, I guess only time will tell once you run into start running into some of the stiffer competition how they're gonna finally end up you know, with results. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and what I was impressed about with our team yesterday is, you know, when, when you have a team and you have a lot of chances to score and you're playing a team that is w younger and weaker than you you are, and you don't, you don't score goals, a lot of times those teams fall apart and start playing long ball and start hollering at each other, whatever. And uh, I think during that first half, the only hollering that was done was <laughs> us coaches and stuff. Those guys kept their cool, don't you think? And, yeah. and kept trying to play soccer the, the right way, yeah, which is, good. you know, so that's... The one, uh, thing, the one yeah. thing I did notice about some of the Sturgis players, and I mean, this has happened ever since I was an athlete about a thousand years ago. You know, the West River referees don't let as much contact go on as the East River referees. And I mean, they were they were having some difficulty with with that part of the game. Yeah, I think uh, I think it was a uh, it was a a very uh, physical game and stuff and you know, you got to you got to you got to take what the referees are going to give you. We've had teams in the past that um, aren't aren't very physical and we've had teams that are are too physical, but our guys this year, you know, Colin and Preston and Alex and Taco uh, they're not afraid. They're not afraid to, to mix it up. So you know, as far as going after the ball, hard goes. And spearfish, they're known. They're known for that. This game today, uh, it's going to start out fast. Both teams going after the ball real hard, and, and I think whoever scores first can win the game. So. Well, you better score first. Then. <laughs> well, well, Mike, I'm going to let you get back to your, your team warming up, but I really want to thank you for spending a little bit of time. I don't know if you saw it the other day, but for uh, Throwback Thursday, Carol put on an interview we did a couple of years ago, which I think is probably still the best interview we've ever had on Soccer 605. You were a happy camper that day. Yeah, I, I remember that one. That's funny. I have to look at that. I just, you know, I'm an old guy. I just started figuring out your, uh, your uh, Soccer 605 and how to get to different links and stuff. And believe it, believe it or not, I was, that's what I was doing last night when I got home. So, in bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck today, Coach, and I'm sure we'll be seeing you plenty of times during the course of the year. You bet. Thanks, Randy. Good luck to you, too.